Alright, what's up guys? I'm about to show you all a really quick and easy tutorial on how to jail, well, how to root a LG Optimus S or V or T or pretty much most Android devices. This is a tutorial using Ginger Break. Um, the download link will be in the description, so you're going to need to download Ginger Break from the description and I'll teach you how to put it on your SD card and put it into your phone. Alright, so first of all, what you're going to do is turn on your phone, plug it into your computer, and have the autoplay come up. Uh, well. Or just go to computer, and then it should be your removable disk or whatever. That's just the SD card, so you open that up, move that to, I don't know, left or right, I'll put that to left. So, what you do is drag this file in. Um, I already had that in, so I'm just gonna replace that. Now that you've done that, you're gonna click on uh, safely remove hardware and eject media, and click on eject Google Mass Storage de USB device. Or if it doesn't say that, just guess, but don't click on that one, cause that I think that's your uh, router. Maybe I'm not sure. So you do that, and now you just remove your device, and I'll take you to the phone. Alright, back to the phone. Uh, I'm turning it on right now. I'm locking it. Uh, you go to the market. Uh, search Linda's manager. Or Linda file man. Oh yeah, Linda file manager. Click on the suggestion. And you find, you go scroll down to, to this first to this uh, Linda file one by NY Linda NYLinda.com I already installed it so I'm not going to install it again but now that you've done that you're going to uh, go to your apps scroll down to Linda file manager go to SD card scroll down to ginger break and click OK and um, read the allow this application to but if it says anything other than system tools uh, it might be doing something to, well actually never mind because this is it'll have to be the same thing so you click on install and it's going to say application installed so you click on open and um, click on well I already have mine rooted so yeah um, now that you have Ginger Break open, you're going to click on Root Device, and it's going to take, like, maybe 5 to 10 minutes for it to reboot and everything. I don't know why, but just so you all don't get super scared, like, don't freak out because your uh, phone is not turning on or not doing everything right. So, um, after you've done that, you go check your status by scrolling down to super user and then uh, if it says super user you can open it and that should mean that you have a uh, jailbreak jail rooted device and um, one thing that I only read in mind for is because I wanted wireless tethering because I don't feel like paying 50 to 40 dollars a month to get wireless tethering from Sprint so uh, I just you just go to the marketplace and download wireless tether and then there you go. Thank you all for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe for more tips from Sacks and tutorials. Peace out. Oops, I did it again.